Hello! Today we are going to explore kindness rocks. What will we need? Acrylic paint. Um, here I have red, yellow, blue, the primary colors. You might need to mix some colors like red and yellow if you want to make orange. And it'll vary how much paint you need to make each color. You'll see. If you want to make blue green, then you're going to mix blue and yellow. So red and yellow makes orange. Red and blue make purple. So we need our letters to be big, bold, easy to see. We're going to start by picking out a big shape. You can use one shape or even two shapes. You can create your own shape, an organic one, freeform, natural. So I have my two shapes painted down and it's dry. I have written my word out in pencil. And I created some guidelines for my letters so that they're nice and even. And I know that they're gonna fit on this rock. How many letters are in your word? Will it fit on the rock? I have a permanent acrylic marker here that I've used, and I'm gonna start adding some patterns. A pattern of lines, a repetition of the elements of art, just to create interest, make it stand out, emphasize the word. I chose grateful and I have my rock decorated. Grateful, huh? Why is that a kindness rock? Well, I think when somebody shows their gratitude or they're grateful for something, that is kindness. Now, what are the materials you'll need? A mat, some acrylic paint, or a permanent marker, and some brushes. It doesn't matter what kind of acrylic paint, but as long as it's acrylic, that is permanent. It won't come out of your clothes. Use a mat under your rock, and when you're finished, find a spot in the neighborhood to put your kindness rock. Enjoy. What is kindness to you?